Toldi programming language it supports multiple inheritance so if you really want to inherit any other contract into your contract then you have to use the is keyword which is very important and if you want to modify any functions any outcome of that function you have to use the virtual keyword and if you want to do the change in the function itself of the parent function then at that time you have to use the override keyword i know it sounds abstract but we're going to have a practical look at how exactly it's work let me provide the general configuration solidity version and now we're going to create a contract so we'll say let's have a graph so let's try to understand the entire interface with the help of a graph that how exactly it's work because order is very important when you want to inherit any contract into another contract so order is very important it's very strict so let's come here we'll take a so this is the a contract which is a parent contract and this a will inherit by b and c okay and that b b contract is going to inherit by e f sorry f d so that, that's how the inheritance works so you have to follow the proper hierarchy the way you define the contract in the single contract okay so if you have a contract and that you have a multiple contract so that's how you can inherit you have to give a proper reference otherwise it will throw you an error so let's come here inheritance graph we're going to create our contract so let's create a first contract we'll call it a and in that we're going to create a function we'll call it foo public virtual and it will say string memory and in that we want to simply return this a that's a simple function simple contract which have this foo function and when you call this function you will get an a now we can come down and here we go to create a another contract and this contract is going to inherit this a contract so let me give this comment by using the keyword is let's create a contract we're going to call it b and we are using this e key is keyword to inherit our a contract and this way we can easily able to have the access of the contract a and the default output of this contract is going to be a because you can see if you look at the contract a in that we are returning a we are returning a so that's the default output of foo function here what we're going to do is we create a another function we'll call it foo public pure virtual override and this is going to return the string and here we're going to simply call the b because here using here we are using the foo function from function from a contract a and we have used the virtual and the override keyword to update the data so right now if we call a normal foo we'll get a but here we are changing the data so we are returning b from here and that's how you can do it so this is the b contract let's create another contract c and we're going to inherit a and the same thing we're going to do here so we'll override a to return something else so virtual override we have to memory and we have to simply return this c so this c contract is going to return c we are using that a function foo function and modifying it and getting our desired result so this is how inheritance work and now let's come here so a few points to keep in mind that a contract can inherit multiple parents contract when a function is called that's defined multiple items okay so the contract parent contract are search for that right to left and that's that's how the manner exactly work the order is very important if you want to inherit the contract so let's let me show you the practical demo so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a contract i want to create a contract by d and i want to inherit and that's the reason because it's on the right hand side the last one we have the same two function in both the contract but the c function is getting called because it is the most right side and that's how the sorority inheritance work in the when you want to inherit the functions so if you are importing multiple contract then that's how it's work the most right parent contract is going to be executed if they have the fourth function name okay that's the things you have to keep in mind so that's what we have here now we're going to create a function we'll call it foo override v c and we want to return this so we are passing the same thing override b and c and we're going to simply return this super function in both the way now let's come here let's create a one more contract e we're going to do the opposite way because this time we're going to export the output of the b contract because b is the most right hand side and the output is going to be this b since b is the right most parent contract with the function foo and here we're going to simply have the same output we have to pass the same the way we have inherit the contract the same we have to provide in the override section b and c and b and we want to simply return the data from here so string memory and we want to return the super function
and that's the only thing you have to keep in mind okay so let's come here we're going to create an inheritance must be order from most base like swapping the order of a and b will throw a compilation error we're going to see that what is the error i'm talking about but i want to give you this note so you guys can keep in your head that there are rules which you have to follow if you want to inherit the contracts so let me show you let me write the code let me write a contract f and we want to inherit a and b in this f contract so the function we're going to create this foo override and we want to override a and b return and we want to return this memory in that we're going to call this super and we'll call it foo and we want to simply return that so that's the one we have and that's the entire smart contract we have written here we have the entire smart contract for the inheritance you can see we have a contract we have b c d e and f and we are inheriting one contract from one another so that's a nested contract so let's come here let's try to deploy it. let's delete me the old one and here we have this multiple contracts so if i come here if i deploy this contract and here you can see we got this one and if i click on the foo i'll get the a let's try to deploy the other contract if i call this b if i call the deployed deployed and i'll get the b so let's close this one and here i have the b contract if i call this i'll get this b a and b we have this two contract but what i want to do is i want to simply inherit in the c as well so let's come here and this is the c contract if i call deploy and here we have the deployed and if i come here so here what i have mentioned that the default output of this a is a but we are using this override property and creating a virtual so this one override to update this c so if i call this function i'll get a c that's what i have mentioned here we will get a c now here what we are doing is that here we are creating this d contract and we are inheriting this b and c but as because of this the c is the most most right parent contract so this function is going to be executed from here and we'll get this c as an output so let's come here so what is the name d if i come here if i click on the if i click on deploy the contract is deployed and if i call this foo function i'll get output fc so if i click on this c and you can see this c because this is the rule we have in the soity because both a both b and c have the same function but we are getting this c because this one is the right most parent contract if we take this e contract example if we take the e contract example if i deploy that as well and if i simply deploy this e contract call this one i'll get a b and that's what i have him because this time the b is the most parent contract on the right hand side but here if we have this f and if i call this function can you guess what will happen so let's try to check this out if i come here if i go to this if i call this f function deployed sorry and here we have the f deployed and here we have the foo if you call this time you get a b hope this makes sense to all of you you guys have understood that why everything's happening how the inheritance work in uh, multiple contracts order is very important and make sure to rewatch this video if you have still any confusion to understand better that how exactly it's work with that let's move to the next video and if you have still any confusion end out do leave in the comment section i'll try to help you in that have a wonderful day